Hi, I'm Terry Cherko with Expert Village, and this segment is for women building their wardrobe over 30. Now, if you're over 30, warm climate, cold climate, you gotta have at least one winter coat because maybe you'll travel, maybe you'll leave Hawaii someday. So here's the scoop on winter coats. If you are living in a warm climate and only have one coat, make sure you buy a classic shape. A classic shape in a solid color is always a good way to go. Now, this is a camel hair coat in your basic wrap style. This is about as classic as it gets. I've had this coat for 20 years. It's never gone out of style. Okay, you can do it with different belts, you know, wrap it up, wrap it down, and it would look great. Okay, I also have it a purple as a wrap coat. But if you want to delve into other vistas and have, you know, something with a little bit of bling to it, this is a shearling coat. And this, as you see, still a very simple style. Not a lot of attachments, just the basic shearling and suede, really simple lines, okay? That's gonna look good on just about everybody. Now, a couple notes on a winter coat and what to look for. Number one, try to buy the best fabric you can. This is cashmere. You can't get better than cashmere. The first words in cashmere is cash. And there's a reason for that. But it really wears well and it keeps you really warm. And did you know that cashmere actually keeps you warmer in the winter and it has a cooling effect that depending on what your body temperature is, you can either cool down or warm up because that's what cashmere does. The fibers really breathe. Another thing about a winter coat, it absolutely has to be lined, okay? And usually they do it with a thermal lining. That is a lining that has some felt on the back of it and it really makes it a lot warmer. Now this is a really good wrap jacket, that's why it's got these strings here, but you're also gonna wanna check, of course, the stitching, the length. I've always said that the best length is right above the knee. This was a little bit longer because I used it for pants when I was living in the Midwest and it was really, you know, really saved me because when you're cold, you're cold all over. Now, also look at the stitching. You know, if it has a lapel, the lapel should go straight. You know, if it has stitching, you should check that stitching and make sure it's perfect. Make sure that if you're spending this kind of money that it's really made well. What you also want to do is if it is too long in the sleeves but it fits you in the shoulders, shoulders are an area that are really hard to, you know, to alter. That's going to cost you more money. But if it fits you in the shoulder and is long in the sleeve, Sleeves are a cinch. That's not going to cost you a lot of money. So that's just a good alteration tip. And remember, if it's too long, you can always hem it. But if it's too short, you're pretty much stuck, okay? So when buying a winter coat, just buy the best quality you can, preferably in a solid fabric, and in something really classic. You'll have it forever.